In this video, I will show you how to create stylized explosion inside Unreal Engine 5 using Niagara. First of all, I'm going to FX and then Niagara system. Next, and I'm going to add empty one, finish. Let's call it Niagara system explosion. And let's dive inside and let's dock it there. So I'm going to add a burst spawn burst instantaneous and I'm going to set that about 80 as you see the particles are not moving because we need to add a velocity so I'm going to add the velocity in the particle spawn section not in the particle update because just I want to give them the velocity at the first frame or let's say at the first second when they born so I'm going to click on the particle spawn and then type point force and now you see we have an issue here and look what's gonna happen here if I click on fix issue as you see Niagara added another node uh, for us it's called apply initial forces so as you see apply force to the velocity and to the rotation force so this is just initial force to push the particles so we need to increase the strength let's say about 150 and again we forget to add the solve and velocity and let's go back a little bit and let's see it as you see we added an explosion at the first frame or we added a force that pushes the uh, particles so let's go ahead to the initialize uh, particle and i'm going to set the sprite size mode to random uniform so i'm going to set that to about 25 the minimal to 10 and let's go back and see see that again okay and i'm going to change the life mode to random and I'm going to set that to about 0 0.6 or 65. I am not guessing these values because I did the explosion before, so I remember what values should I use. So as you see, some particles dying sooner than others. And I'm going to set the lifespan min. 0.2 or let's say 0.3 and let's go back and see it again as you see we have an explosion now let's go ahead and add the scale sprite so i'm going to add sprite size and i'm going to link these values by typing float to make them one value and then i'm going to add a curve and i'm going to let's see i'm going to add a point here by holding shift and click here and let's hit one on the keyboard to make it smoother something like that let's see the result move it let's bring the working area a little bit here let's see if we didn't forget anything here and we need to turn the life cycle mode to self because I want to play it once in the viewport. Okay, cool. So in the next lesson, we are going to work on the material of the fire. In this lesson, we're going to create the material for the fire effect. So let's go ahead 
and create the material and let's call it mat and then fire and let's dive inside and let's dock it there so i'm going to the texture and i'm going to select the fire texture i'm going to give you this file so then let's go to the material and type texture sample and here we have the texture and then i'm going to create particle color and let's create a multiply and i'm going to multiply the rgb with the color and then i'm going to set that to the emissive color and i'm going to change that the blend mode to additive basically the additive mode will allow us to get more glow when the particles are overlapping on each other so and let's click on the plane and now let's go ahead and create the radial gradient exponential so basically if i right click on that and click on the start uh, previewing node you see we have a simple a circle so this is going to be like the alpha map for the uh, fire texture so let's stop previewing that and i'm going to add a noise there let's before adding the noise i'm going to show you that let's connect that to the opacity we get rid of the rectangle shape and we can come over density and right click and choose promo to parameter so now if i go there to the parameter and set the default value for example to five you see i get more sharp edges so i can right click there and hit start previewing node so we can see it better so as you see if i set that to 10 we get sharper edge so let's leave that at five and i'm going to to add another noise as you see we have a perfect edge here so i want to add some noise on the edge so i can do that in very simple way texture sample again and i'm going now to change the texture to a noise as you see we don't see the uh, textures or the noise that comes with the unreal engine we can come over the gear here and click on show engine content and let's type tiling noise 05 so i'm going to click on that so now we have the noise and now i'm going to subtract that so let's right click and choose subtract and i'm going to subtract the radial gradient and the texture sample and now if i right click here and click on start previewing node you see now we get really nice noisy edge around the circle and that's exactly what i want so now i'm going to plug that in the opacity and let's stop previewing that so we can see the material as you see we get really nice material here so now let's save it and let's go to niagara system and let's go to sprite render and i'm going to let's select the material and we can simply go there and click on the use it's as you see now we get the sprite Now let's create the smoke so let's go to material and new material and call it matte smoke let's dive inside and let's drag the texture of the smoke drag it and drop it there and i'm going to create particle color 
and let's create a multiplier and I'm going to multiply the alpha with the alpha and let's select that let's set that to translucent and let's plug that to the opacity and the color to the base color or we can multiply the uh, particle color with the texture so we get the same color from the texture but we are going to change the color in the uh, particle so let's save that now let's go to the Niagara and I'm going to duplicate that control C control V and let's call this one smoke and the other one fire let's go to the smoke and let's change the material to matte smoke let's disable that so we can see the smoke as you see I'm going to do some changes there to the uh, emitter to the spawn sorry about 150 and let's go ahead to the initialize particle and see what we can change here 0 0.4 as I remember and 0 0.8 and here I'm going to leave them at 10 or 15 it's good too we can change the sprite rotation so it has rotation random rotation and now let's add sprite size because I want to control the size over time sprite size and let's link them float and then add a curve I want to start the particle at let's say 0 0.3 and the time is 0 and the value is 1 here we can change the value more here so we can set that let's say to 5 let's see it can change that to let's say 7 to it's cool I think now let's fade the smoke so again we need a color and in the particle update remember that color and now I'm going to break the alpha from the color so let's type float make linear color from vector and float so now you see I have the alpha separated here so now I can add a curve and as you see the smoke is fading let's enable the fire and see the result so squid and play And I want to add a point here, so shift and click there, move the point somewhere here, hit one on the keyboard to smooth it. Let's see that. Cool, so now I'm going to change this vector to a color again. Color, make vector from linear color, RBG. So now we can choose the color we want. And I can click here again and type random range linear color so now I have minimum and maximum so I can change that for example to something bright and the other one you can choose any color you want something black and let's see play I think it's cool looking cool but the smoke I don't like the sprite size sorry we have uh, double sprite size so so let's delete the old one I forget to delete uh, that sorry 
so let's see it now I think now it's too big because we had a double sprite size so let's decrease that to about four let's hit play and see and I'm going to add a drag so I want to slow down the uh, particles fix the issue let's see it I think it's looking pretty good now now let's go ahead and create the trails first of all I'm going to duplicate the fire instead of creating that from scratch so control C and then control V and I'm gonna call it trails emitter and then I'm going to do some adjustments let's see we have the burst I'm going to set that to 20 let's isolate that so we can see just the trail emitter and let's see the initialize particle I'm gonna change that to 0 0.7 and this one to let's say 0 0.25 and let's change the sprite size mode to uniform and let's set it to 3 or let's say 5 I think 3 it's too small and let's go ahead to the point fourth and let's change that to 200 because I want to push them faster than the fire let's see so as you see here are the trails now let's go ahead and duplicate the trail emitter again control C control V and now let's call it trails now we need to emit the trail from the emitter from these small dots so first of all we need to delete the spawn burst and then let's add spawn and this time we are going to use another method to create the trails which is the spawn particles from other emitter this is so easy now so here we need to set the name of the emitter this is the name so let's copy that and let's go ahead and let's paste that there so we still get an error here so if I click on fix issue you see we added the sample particles from other emitter too let's click on fix issue and now you see we have some mess here and another thing we need to do we need to go to the material because I want to make them look like smoke not fire so I'm going to change that here I'm going to type default sprite material you need to make sure that you click on the show plugin content to see the sprite material this is important okay so let's click on that so now we have white dots and as you see the particles pushed away we need to delete the point force too because we don't need to apply point force on the trails and here is the cool thing in the sample particles from other emitter if you come over here you will see we have the velocity and here you can change that to apply to attribute and now the trail will follow or will inherit the velocity of the emitter and this is so powerful so if I scroll the time you see it's so strong so we can change that to 0 0.2 so now you see we have some particles following the emitter we almost get there and let's go ahead to the spawn particles I'm going to change that to 100 so as you see we have the trail and we can go to the initialize particle and change that to 3 
or two and we can control the scale too we can change the overall value of that let's leave it at one i want to add a little bit of gravity for the trail so we're not gonna add that in the trails instead of that we are going to add that in the trail emitter so i want just to give that touch for the particles to fall on the ground so we can add that by typing gravity fix issue and it's so strong we can set that to about negative 70 as you see we have a little bit of gravity touch on the trail you can adjust it it's up to you now let's change the color of the trail let's go ahead to the initialize particle we can adjust that from here or we can go to the update and type color and we can break that or we can do another thing we can delete the color instead of using the break we can add color scale color as you see now we have the scale alpha we can add a curve and we can change that from here to 0 0.5 and now we can go ahead to the initialize a particle we can set direct set and change the uh, color of the smoke too let's hit the play and see we can go to the scale color and type here color make a vector from linear color we can change that here or we can add a, a curve to the uh, color too it's up to you now let's go to the save it let's go to the viewport and drag that here and see the result i'm going to hide the atmosphere fog and the skylight sky sphere let's select the particle and hit g on the keyboard to hide the icons and i'm going to scroll down to update the scene i'm going to click on force solo just to update that as you see the smoke is too much we need to decrease the alpha of the smoke so we can go to the smoke to the color let's set that to 0 0.3 and let's save it let's see it's much better i think we can go to the point here 0 0.7 and this one 0 0.5 save it let's see i think it's much better i can change the color too we can change the color from the color mode too or let's go to the uh, color here we added that previously so let's make it darker and the white darker too and let's save it let's see as you see it's much better than before we can decrease the alpha for the trails too i think it's so bright so let's go to the scale color let's change that to 0 0.5 save it let's see it it's much better now let's add a glow for the fire we can go to the fire and let's go there and add color let's click there add curve 
color from curve and I'm going to double click here going to add a little bit orange and now we need to increase the V value so let's say 2.5 and let's save it and now let's go to the viewport as you see we have some cool glow on the explosion we can increase the size of the trails emitter too as you see it's barely visible so we can go to the trail meter size where is the size initialize size let's set that to 7 or 8 save it much better i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you learned something new so click on the link below to see more tutorials